Yo, what's going on Video Horror Society fans? My name is Justin and today we're going to be going over my top weapon for each stigma along with the best mods for it and the worst. For those of you who don't know me, I've been playing VHS for a long time. Since the beginning of the original beta actually. I've put mass amounts of hours into the game and have used every weapon along with all the mods. So without further ado, here are my top choices. Number 1. For the Purify Stigma, I have to give it to my favorite weapon in the game, the Slingshot. Not only is the Slingshot extremely fun to play with, it's also the most challenging. Nothing feels better than hitting a nice flick or a shot from downtown. But in all seriousness, the Slingshot is a great weapon to zone the monster with. Just simply pulling back that shot will make the monster move side to side or go behind cover. For the Slingshot, the best mod to go to is Higher Power. This mod allows you to have three shots instead of two, with no downside to crafting time. The only downside to this is your shots only count if it hits the body, which you should be doing anyways for maximum efficiency. As for the worst mod you can use, I'd have to give it to Blind Faith. Not only is the blinding effect just completely inefficient, it also increases the crafting time by 20%. I'd steer clear of this unless you're trying to troll basically. Number 2. For the Curse Stigma, my go-to is always the sword. The sword is a great weapon for kiting, probably the best in the game. Not only is it strong against monsters like Wart when armored, it also has really good zoning potential. If you land your shots just right, two swings can actually kill the monster. However, the majority of us do it in about 3 or 4. For the sword, my favorite mod to use is Gale Force. Gale Force allows any teammate to run through the wake to gain a 30% speed boost for 2 seconds. This can be really good for getting your teammate out of a hot situation. The downside to this mod, however, is that your slashes travel 15% slower. Overall, it's a fun mod to use and beneficial for the team. As for the worst mod, this has to go to Mighty Swings. This mod looks good on paper with the 15% longer slash damage. However, the downside being 20% longer to perform each swing can be detrimental if you don't hit your shots right. Number three. For the burn stigma, it was a close one between the flamethrower and the molly. Quite honestly, all of the burn weapons are very good, but overall what I find myself crafting the most is the flamethrower. It buys you space, time, and with the right mod, you can kill at a good distance. Speaking of the right mods, my top one has to go to Under Pressure. Although the downside to this mod is being 0.2 seconds longer start time to fire, the distance you're able to capitalize at is enormous. Under Pressure allows the maximum range of the flamethrower to travel 20% further, going from 9 meters to 10.8. Moving on to the worst mod, it was really a tie between On Fumes and Burnout. For the sake of this video, I'll choose one, Burnout. Overall, this is just a troll mod, I'm convinced. Yes, decreasing the rage by 10% per second sounds good. However, if you're burning them long enough to decrease their rage by a lot, you could just either get the strike and fully reset it. So overall, steer clear of this mod unless you're just trying to mess around with the monster. Number 4. Ah oh, geez, moving on to probably my worst stigma, Shock. Overall, I'm not entirely a huge fan of this category as I just don't have any interest in the weapons. Choosing one though, I'd have to go with the Shock Spear. Shock Spear can be really good for waiting out Wart's armor or counting Werewolf's Howl. There are plenty of good and bad mods for the Shock Spear, but my favorite has to go to Particle Accelerator. If you've got a clear sight and are good at tracking, this mod is lethal. The Shock Spear's speed is increased by 25%, making it easy to catch up to those pesky werewolf and berserk or make distance from the wart chasing you down while armored. However, the downside is pretty big, being that it consumes 25% more energy, but uh, just get good, forehead. As for the worst mod you could use, it's gotta go to Boosting Jolt. This mod just screams, don't use me. Not only is the speed boost you get from charging stations completely unnecessary, the additional 33% time it takes to craft is just what turns me away. Alright, well there are my personal favorites for each stigma in order. If you enjoyed the video, make sure to leave a like and subscribe. Let me know down below in the comments what your favorite weapon and mods are. Check me over on Twitch at twitch.tv slash justjustin where I stream 6 days a week in the evening. Thanks for stopping by and I'll see you in the beyond. I see